What is a good doctor? All right, so could you please introduce yourself to the viewers briefly? Sure, my name is Mike Shea. I'm a urologist at UC San Diego. And uh, I heard that you were not born in here. That's correct. I was born in Taiwan. Mm. Um, my family immigrated here when I was 13 years old. Um, actually, I came here first. We have families in Florida and that um, we thought there would be a better opportunity for education and professionally for me to receive my secondary education in the U.S. So my family made a decision for me to come here first alone. Um, <laughs> 13 years old when boy. When I was 13, um, just to make sure that I survived and that, um, that before we bring the whole family over here. So you were a clinical trial. Yes, I was a phase one study. <laughs> Oh boy, but I believe they were, in, they were confident to send you over here. I guess they thought you are very smart at your school. That's maybe the reason why. Am I correct? Uh, possibly. I, I think, you know, I'm the older one of, uh, of, of two kids. I have a uh, younger sister who's mm -hmm. two years younger than me. Uh -huh. At the time, my parents had good steady jobs mm -hmm. in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. So it was a big change mm -hmm. to <laughs> give up everything to come to the U.S. So you attended your elementary school in Taiwan? Yes, I went to elementary school all the way till um, a little bit of junior high school to about seventh grade mm -hmm. in Taiwan. And I came here um, and started junior high school here as an eighth grade student. So you attended here uh, a middle school in the U.S., right? I went to a school that's predominantly um, Americans. There was in no Florida? A in Florida. Mm -hmm. There was no Asian students. So I was, the, <laughs> I was the N of one. I was the only one. I did not really speak English. Oh. So I, was, I would go to school mm. and all day and I would come home. My family in Florida would ask me, how was school? I would say, good. And they say, do you have homework? I would say, I don't know. Oh, because I have no idea what's going mm, on. Mm, mm. But I was very, very lucky because I met really good friends mm -hmm. who, instead of excluding me in mm -hmm. school because mm -hmm. I was new and mm -hmm. foreign, mm -hmm. they really saw me as somebody very interesting, something very different than mm -hmm. what they experienced. Mm -hmm. And they really took me under their wings and showed me how the U.S. education system works and then helped me a lot, especially during my, my first few years. During your high school, maybe you were adjusted, right, with your friends, with the, with the American culture and the language, you adjusted pretty well, I guess. And then, what kind of college did you went and why? College was a big decision because um, up until this point in my life, mm -hmm. I always lived with my family. So oh. as a foreigner, you have the protection of your family, you feel comfortable, mm. and college is when you're going to leave home, mm. you know. But luckily, I was... Um, assimilated enough in the U.S. after mm -hmm. five years, mm -hmm. I feel I'm, I was ready. Mm. Um, but I did not want to go too far from home. So being, having grown up in Florida, mm -hmm. I went to school in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh. So I went to Emory U University. Emory, yeah. So it's one state north of Florida. Mm -hmm. So it's far enough away that my parents won't bother me. <laughs> but it's also not too far. When I want to go home, it's a very short fly home. At what point you wanted to go to the medical school? And why? I went to Emory to be an engineer oh. because that's what my uncle did. I mm -hmm. figured that seems like the right path. Seems like uh, you liked your uncle a lot. Well, he was a very influential figure in my, in my life because he brought me here. Ah. Right? <laughs> so, and he was my first kind of a adult reference to what life in the U.S. is like. Ah. You know, there's two, two reasons why I'm not an engineer today. Number one was um, physics with calculus. That was a requirement <laughs> to be an engineer. Um, and that, that was a class that me and my classmates were not very good at. <laughs> and the second thing is really, I think, the, the personality, the, the, the human aspect mm -hmm. that was missing for me. Mm -hmm. I think what I like a lot about medicine is the relationships you build with mm -hmm. your patients, mm -hmm. with your colleagues. Mm -hmm with your, you know, staff and that like going into a field like engineering or even 
research, like a PhD in, in um, life sciences, you work alone a lot. And I, I, I miss a lot of that, that social interaction. So mm. these are the, probably the two reasons why I'm not an engineer today. I think that is related with your friends when you came over here. So you were always feel comfortable collaborating with the others. That affected, may, may have affected your decision, right? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, during the Emory, time, Emory days, you decided to go to the medical school. Yes. Um, during one summer, while I was in college, I was playing basketball. An older gentleman was playing mm -hmm. with us, was oh. at, and, and, and he asked me, Mike, are you a student? I was like, yes. He's like, what are you interested in? I'm like, well, I'm majoring in biology and mm -hmm. chemistry, maybe mm -hmm. going to medical school. And he was like, have you done any research? Mm -hmm. I was like, no, I'm just a second year college mm -hmm. student. He said, I have a lab. Oh. Would you like to work for me? Oh. So that's kind of how I found my research mentor. Wow. He, he is a biochemistry professor uh -huh. that I met playing basketball. <laughs> and he, uh, he studies uh, cancer research uh, for the medical school. Uh -huh. So he was my first kind of exposure to medical school from the research side. Of course, being a PhD, he was hoping that I would follow his footsteps <laughs> to be a PhD as well. But after completing my honor thesis, mm -hmm. I ended up going to medical school, which I think he probably still have feelings about it. <laughs> um, but we still keep in touch. We actually just published a paper not that long ago. So, oh, yeah, together? So, together. Yeah. Oh, boy. So, yeah, so we still keep in touch. Mm. So you, what, what medical school you went? So I went to University of Vermont. Vermont. Yeah, so it's in Burlington, Vermont. It's the very northern part of the United States. So as I came here, I was a student. Mm. So I was not a U.S. citizen um, at the time. Oh. So I had to apply to college as a foreign student mm -hmm. on a F1 visa. Mm -mm. And I also had to apply to medical school mm -hmm. on a F F1 visa as oh. well. As you probably know, U.S. medical school is very, very competitive. It is. It is. So it was very, very difficult, despite having good, good grades mm -hmm. and good test scores, mm -hmm. for me to get into a lot of medical schools. Mm. So I got into two medical schools when I was applying, and one was at University of Vermont. Mm -hmm. The other one was Medical College of Wisconsin in Milwaukee. Oh, oh. And I chose to go to University of Vermont because a traditional medical school education is two years in the classroom and two years in the hospital. Mm. University of Vermont had a different curriculum. It was oh. one and a half years in the classroom uh -huh. and two and a half years in the clinical doing wow. the hospitals. Oh. So for me, I really wanted to have as much clinical experience as possible. Mm -hmm. So out of those two choices, mm -hmm. I, ended up, I ended up choosing University of Vermont, despite being the cold weather mm -hmm. compared to Florida. <laughs> but I also met my wife there, so it's okay. Yeah, so it ended up being a happy ending. Mm. So how come and why did you wanted to be a urologist? Well, I went to medical school, um, obviously want to be a doctor. I did not go to medical school to be a surgeon. Oh. The main reason is that all my friends growing up in Florida, whose parents are surgeons, oh. they all have divorced. Oh. I saw that a traditional surgeon family is very demanding professionally on their family, mm -hmm. that a lot of the parents end up having a divorce. Mm. So I did not want to be that mm -hmm. kind of, mm -hmm. um, in that kind of relationship. Mm -hmm. So I tried really hard in medical school to not like surgery. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously I, you failed. Yeah, <laughs> obviously I failed. So I did surgery re rotation and obviously I loved it. So I was at a conflict. I was like, what do I do? This is what my passion is, but I don't want to end up having a family and had a divorce. Mm -hmm. So I was very lucky. My advisor in surgery was a urologist. Oh. So he was like, he asked me, um, Mike, have you heard of urology? I was like, what's that? <laughs> He's like, well, I think your problem that you have, maybe mm -hmm. you should work with us for a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. And I think you'll see that you can be a surgeon and still have a good family. Mm. I was like, okay, I'll try it. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So then, of course, then that's, that was my first introduction to urology was through my surgery advisor, who ah. is a urologist. But at the time, I did not know mm -hmm. how competitive urology is. <laughs> uh, and obviously, when I did urology, I, I really love the work. I love the surgeries. I love the patients mm. and the personality of the doctors. Mm. So that's why I'm a urologist today. Usually, we can pursue 
academic path or the private you know, path, right? When did you decide to be an academics and why? Well, I think it really kind of dates back to the people that have helped me along the way. As you know, as a foreigner in the country, we can't do everything by ourselves. Yes. We have a lot of, a lot, we, we need a lot of support. And I was very lucky to have support. So I feel very fortunate that I have a lot of people along the way to help, to help me. So my interest in academic medicine is really to pay it forward. Meaning that I'm here to help people that they need my help next. I'm not going back to pay it back to the people that helped me in my past. Mm. You know, so I'm here because I know there's medical students, there's college students, there's residents, and there's fellows that maybe I can help them along their way to help them to get better. So that's why I go into academic medicine.